not saying that he was an accident. I mean, we wanted to have kids, but that wasn't in the original plan of 500 bucks a month. So I had to be flexible with that. I had to give the credit card company some. I had to pay some hospital bills. I didn't ditch the plan, though. The plan remained the same. Get out of credit card debt. But I had to be flexible during the period of time where Micah came along and we had hospital bills and other things to pay for. Warriors, we need to have a plan and remain flexible. Ehud had a plan, but he remained flexible as well. Here's the thing. On Father's Day, the challenge, like, we kind of were all challenged. Like, what area in your life needs your leadership right now? Is it your marriage? Is it your kids? Worship team, why don't you come on up? Is, is it your kids? Is it your parenting? Is it your job? Is it, is it your finances? What area needs your leadership, you as a warrior, to stand up, stand in the gap, and fight for it right now, this week, these next couple weeks during this series? This, this morning, I just want to challenge you. What's the plan? I hope that God revealed something to you and that his spirit showed you where you are needed as a warrior. What's the plan? I don't want, I'm not asking you to all submit your plans at the end of the service. I'm just saying, what's the plan? If it's your marriage, what's the plan? Is it one night a week out on a date night? Is it go to a, a weekend to remember conference and, and learn and renew some of those, those vows? Is it to renew your vows uh, on your anniversary. I mean, what's the plan if, if God revealed to you it's your marriage? If it's your finances, what's the plan? It, it's not going to be a one-month plan. It may be a five-year plan. That's okay, but what's the plan? How are you going to do that? Besides prayer, like what we talked about, but, but what's the plan? What's the plan of action? How are you going to use your gifts, your talents, to make that plan come into place? If it's your kids, if it's... Is it dates? Is it... Is it supporting them in something that you really haven't been too enthused about? I, what's the plan? Warriors have a plan, but they remain fl flexible because it's not always going to happen just as you plan. But that's no reason to ditch the plan. Men, warriors, fight with prayer. Fight on your knees. Fight with prayer. Fight with who you are. Fight with what comes naturally to you, your talents, your abilities, and your spiritual gifts. And as you fight, have a plan and remain flexible. That's what Ehud did. He's a mighty warrior who delivered Israel. Shamgar did it, delivered Israel. Samson did it, delivered Israel. Warriors, fight. Why don't you stand with us and sing? We're going to do offering during the final song, um, as we've started to do. But... In closing, I do just want to, I want to challenge you men to do something this morning. We're going to sing a closing song, and part of the song says, I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned in awe of the one who gave it all. That, I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned. And we repeat that as part of the course, I think. I, I just want to challenge you men on Father's Day. If that's your, if that's your desire, to stand, to stand in the gap, and to be that warrior on the battlefield of leadership and on the battlefield of obedience. Last week, Ron said we don't do this very often. Now we're into two weeks in a row. Like, I, I challenge you men to come up here and stand in front of your wives, in front of your kids, and in front of each other and say, brothers, sometimes we need to fight together, and that's okay. But we will fight. And, and make a statement. Let your wives see it, that you will stand in the gap as a warrior for the cause of Christ, for the kingdom of God, when it comes to leadership and obedience in your home and in your own personal life. And if that's your heart's cry, if that's your desire, if that's, I will lead, I will fight, I will knock down, drag out, no holds bar, whatever it takes for the right battles. As we sing this song, I just challenge you to come up here and stand with your arms high and your heart abandoned and be the warrior that God wants you to be in your home and in your own personal life. If that's your heart's cry, if that's your desire, do that as the basket passes. Come up here, here, not up here, up here, and stand.
stood before creation Eternity in your head You spoke the earth into motion I saw now Stood before my failure, carrying the cross for my shame. My sin weighed upon my shoulders. I saw now the skin. What can I say? What can I do? Offer this heart, oh God, completely to you. I walk upon salvation. You see it. to declare your promise my soul now to still so what can I say what can I do to offer this heart oh What can I say? What can I do? 